what's up everyone welcome to my channel so much for joining whether you are watching this video on my youtube channel right now or you are watching it on my mini tv channel i appreciate you for joining today i will be doing a full face soft glam tutorial so before we get started if you are watching this on my youtube make sure that you hit that subscribe button it is free after all but i also want to announce something that's very 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 exciting and that is my new subscription based channel i have partnered with mini tv to create a channel for all of my fans and supporters to be able to access premium content from me that you won't be able to find on any other social media pages any of my other social media pages i will be posting makeup tutorials weekly on there that will not be available on my youtube just for a little background, I've been posting makeup videos on TikTok for almost on TikTok for almost a year now. May 1st will be a year, and I have already amassed over 1 million views on my TikTok, 12,000 followers, and over 100,000 likes across all of my videos. So, I think you'll be interested in how I do makeup. I will also be posting music learning videos. Well, I'll be teaching aspiring music artists out there not only how to sing, but how to songwrite. I am an independent music artist myself. I have written and released my own original songs over the years and have been noticed by the likes of Babyface and Seven Streeter. And I have worked and recorded with producers from all around that have worked with many A-list, that have worked with many A-list artists. So make sure you check that out by clicking the link in the description receive a 14 day free trial from me you can just check out the content see if you like it and subscribe after the 14 days is over so without any further ado let's get started so if you haven't been able to tell i've already started i've already put on my face primer um this is the dewey lemieux uh the this is the wet and wild photo focus face primer dewey lemieux Look at me YouTubing. <laughs> and basically this gives me a little bit of a shine, but I think it works really well. Um, I put at least four little pumps on my fingers, put them right here, right here, right here, and boom, I have on my face primer. I got this at Walmart, so yeah. Most of the items I have in here are pretty affordable, so don't worry i don't use any really expensive things to do my makeup i just kind of go with the flow and see what see what works see what doesn't um yeah so but i do not claim to be a makeup guru of any sort i've done a lot of cool looks on my tiktoks so i've done a lot of you know um normal glam looks um posted on my instagram and things like that but i do not consider myself a makeup guru i think that i have gotten so much better um doing makeup over the years so i usually like to start with my brows um these things i have bushier brows um so i like to line them up a little bit make them look nice um so i use right now i'm using the revlon color stay uh eyeliner <laughs> usually what i do is i brush out my brows first um I open it up and this is what it looks like on the inside i've already used a lot of it but it looks good. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> what I like to do is put a line above and below each brow first. Kind of have them meet each other at the ends. Sort of like that, as you can see. The lines are not perfect, but we can definitely fix them as we go along. I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. We are not done with the brows. 
I'm gonna do now is grab this brush. This is what the end looks like. And we are going to just kind of drag it along and fill in the brows. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. That's just about as even as they're gonna get right now. Um, <laughs> now we are going to line it up. Not really lining up. We are going to clean up my brows. I just kind of learned this little tip, um, but I think it definitely is a good one. Putting foundation above and below the brows after you fill them in um, definitely helps clean them up. So this is my MAC SPF 15 foundation, and I'm going to use it to clean up the brows. Just like right above the brow clean it up boom it's pretty much that simple and then now concealer the concealer I use like I said I um, got some of this stuff from Walmart I they did not have which means they did not have my particular shade that I was looking for so this is the closest I can find um, this is the Milani conceal perfect long wear concealer yeah <laughs> it goes on really really smoothly i like it a lot so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the concealer right underneath my brows right underneath it these are my sponges and i love them and they're wet so let's see how this blends out now what i like to do next is i like to wipe away some of the brow at the tip just to make it look like it's more faded in more natural and that's my next step so i'm going to use this sponge to do that basically go at the ends and wipe some of it away especially where those harsh lines are just kind of get rid of that now we are finally about to start the eyeshadow and I'm really, really excited to use the eyeshadow. So I'm going to go into this palette, the same palette I had the mirror in. I call this the Kai palette. I don't really know the name of it. So all I know is it has 30 shades <laughs> and we are going to use the shade All Mine to go in and put a little bit of a smoky look. So I'm just gonna grab some of it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go at the end of the, my eye and just kind of put some of that purple at the edge. Just like that. You wanna make sure that you're getting that eyeshadow in the crease a little bit so that it could just define the look. I recently got a new palette. It's called Thrill Me by Motives, and it has a lot of cool shades in here, as you can see. Really, really nice, cool shades. Um, and they're sparkly ones, and we are going to use those on our eyes. I think I'm gonna go with this light sparkly shade right here. It's really, really nice. Um, and use that on the insides of my eyes. I'm just gonna put some on my finger. What we're going to do is just kind of wipe it on there. Just like that. And kind of allow it to fade into the smoky purple. Just like that, real pretty. Isn't that cute? The thing about eyeshadow is don't be afraid to go the extra mile. Don't be afraid to do something creative and sparkly and cute because it's just always cute. <laughs> I'm going to add liner using the same Revlon Colorstay Eye Liner Gel. And we are just going to add a wing to it and it's just going to look nice. <laughs> Boom, there you go. And now we are going to add, finally, foundation. I don't do my lashes until after I do most of my look, so yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to put a few pumps of my SPF 15 foundation from MAC on to the back of my sponge just like that i 
Lots of people say that using a wet sponge is better than using a dry sponge. What do you guys think? I would love to know you guys' thoughts on that. Have you ever tried using a wet sponge before? I wonder. <laughs> I think it's definitely a lot easier to apply, to be honest with you. Look how fast this is going on. And I'm only doing half of my face right now. I'm going to do the other half, but... I'm going to go back and grab my concealer that I used earlier. And I just put a little bit in the corner of my eye. I don't like to put a lot anymore because I realize that sometimes you're just putting a little bit too much. <laughs> I'm going to put some on the bridge of my nose. And that's really all you need. <laughs> And look at that. We're not done yet though, cause right after this is what? Bronzer, and I'm gonna show you what I do. I might do it a lot differently than everybody else, so stay tuned. <laughs> so for my bronzer, I use a color in the James Charles X Morphe palette. And it is this color. I believe it's No Beans. It might be the one next to it. I don't know. I lost the little sticker thingy with the names of it on it. But that's what I use for bronzer. And it looks really, really nice. And you're going to see why. So I'm going to be using my powder brush to go in to the color. And here's a little tip I've seen from a makeup artist. She went upwards with her bronzer. Instead, I used to kind of go in like a sideward, sideways motion, but she goes up like in a slanted way. So I'm going to do that right now. I just kind of go up, kind of into my hair. <laughs> and you go all the way around at the edge, all that. And definitely at the side of my nose. Now at the side of my nose, I go down from the corners of my eyebrow all the way down the side of my nose on both sides. I get the bottom and I do the other side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then next I do highlight and you guessed it, I use the palette. <laughs> I'm using the X Morphe palette. I'm just going in with my finger once again. And I literally put some like on my nose ball right here. Everybody does their makeup differently. This is just what I do. You don't have to do it the same way. I used to go up my nose, but I kind of like it at the ball of my nose now. I put some on my widow's peak right here. I think that's what you call it. <laughs> I don't like to put too much of anything because like Rihanna once said, less. Did she say more is more? Edit that part out. <laughs> and next, I am not going to put on any lipstick. I mean, I could, but I think I'm just gonna go in with my lip gloss today, just so we're not doing too much. Or should I go in with my lipstick? Let's try lip gloss first. And if I don't like it, I'll put lipstick. Here's my lip gloss. This is just a regular schmegular lip gloss. I think I got it like at Forever 21 or whatever it was. I don't know. And I'm just gonna put it on my lips. This is my favorite lip gloss in the world. I'm so glad I have it. Look how that just enhanced my whole look. Just enhanced it by like 10. voila but we are not done now i'm going to go off camera and put on some lashes and then i'll be right back you don't want to sit through me doing my lashes because i take a long time <laughs> all right y'all so this is about as good as the lashes are going to get um i kind of ruined them along the way um but <laughs> these are as good as they're gonna get I, I think eyelashes enhance the look either way so i'm gonna keep them on but i think they look decent enough um now for the final step 
I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Setting Spray and I'm so excited to be using it. Excuse my hand, um, got a little makeup on it. Anyways, I'm so excited to be using it. This stuff is strong, but I think it works. So we're gonna use it because it feels weird not using some kind of setting spray. And here we go. I suggest you hold your breath because this stuff is strong. Uh, and boom there you go there's a look you guys you have to admit that this came out pretty good don't focus on the lashes too much i mean i tried to make them come out as good as i could um but here is the makeup look i hope that you guys like it i hope that you guys enjoyed this video please 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 subscribe if you have not to this channel if you are watching through my mini tv thank you so much for checking out the video i'm so excited um you have a 14 day free trial um so please consider subscribing um after it is over and i will be doing weekly videos i promise and i'm so excited for you to be a part of this if you are on youtube hopefully this is a video that pumps out more videos for me so please let me know down in the comments below what you would like to see and i will start posting again <laughs> um trying to revive my youtube channel again so yeah So if you are, um, if you have not, please click the link down in the description below to check out my mini TV channel. I think you guys will really enjoy it. Uh, for $10 a month, you get to get premium content from me that won't be on any of my other social channels. So please, please consider checking it out. And yeah, once again, you get a free 14 day, you get a 14 day free trial and yeah, you'll be able to check out all the content on there so far and see if you are interested thank you guys so much for joining me today once again i love you and i'll see you in the next video bye